H.G. Wells is one of the most prolific and well-known writers of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Today, a look at one of the most interesting biographies I have ever read. Welcome to In the Library. When I say one of the most interesting biographies I've ever read, it's for two reasons. First, it was written by Wells's son, making it, I think, the first biography I've read written by a relative of the subject. Second, the author, Anthony West, was Wells's son by way of extramarital affair. While the book is a biography in a traditional sense, West's familial relationship with his subject does provide an opportunity for him to give some first-person perspective on Wells's life. For instance, one of the sources for this book was his father's autobiography. When referring to something written within the autobiography, West gives some commentary and opinion on the story based on his own re recollection of the events sometimes speaking against his father's account. For more In the Library, go to patreon.com slash in the library BG. There you can get early access to videos, pictures and videos and stories of my trips, and so much more. That's In the Library BG on Patreon. Another thing that makes this biography a bit different from the traditional is H.G. Wells dies less than 200 pages into the book. Normally, a biography will end with the death of the subject, assuming that the subject has already died. West then goes back to the birth of his grandparents and works his way forward. Eventually, West gets to his father's young adulthood and marriage. The first marriage didn't work out, but Wells' second wife, Jane, was very understanding as her husband had affair after affair, including the one resulting in this book's author. Free love was a central tenet in Wells' personal philosophy, and he didn't care who knew it. In fact, he believed that everyone should be in his way of thinking. Excluding biology textbooks, I don't think I've ever seen the word sex printed in a book as often as it is here. West presents his father as having a pretty wild life, and not just with his extramarital activities. He was an early socialist. He picked literary fights with fellow writers, including Oscar Wilde. The man had a packed life, apparently. This book reveals much about the great H.G. Wells with the added perspective of his own son. It was a very interesting read. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite H.G. Wells novel? Please like, subscribe, and share. Check out this playlist right here for more book reviews Thank you, as always, for watching, and as always, please keep on reading. We'll see you next time.